Hello, Hello. today's video today's we have video, the following have content. The following content. Japanese boxing master Kenichi Sae recalled in his later years, My Chinese master is the one who truly surpasses humans. The global charm of Chinese martial arts and the growth path of a Japanese boxing master. Chinese martial arts, a national quintessence with thousands of years of history, has gradually emerged around the world with its profound cultural heritage and unique artistic charm. It is not only a display of skills, but also a cultural inheritance and spiritual sustenance. In the process of Chinese martial arts going global, the development of the film industry has played a vital role in promoting it. In the 1970s and 1980s, as the deeds of Chinese martial arts elites such as Huo Yuanjia, Chen Shen, Ike Man, and Bruce Lee were brought to the big screen, global audiences began to appreciate the true charm of Chinese martial arts. These films not only show the superb skills of martial arts, but also convey the philosophical thoughts and humanistic spirit behind martial arts. It is these films that make people all over the world crazy, and Chinese Kung Fu has therefore become a business card of Chinese culture. Against this background, the story of Japanese boxing master Kenichi Sae is particularly eye-catching. Kenichi Sae, a Japanese who has practiced martial arts since childhood and is proficient in 18 martial arts, has undergone profound changes in his concepts and life trajectory after coming into contact with Chinese martial arts. Kenichi Sae was born in Fukuoka, Japan, and has been passionate about martial arts since he was a child. He has achieved great success in the Japanese martial arts world, and has profound attainments in Judo, Iaido, and Kendo. He was not satisfied with this, and has always been eager to find a real opponent to further improve his martial arts level. In the 1930s, Kenichi Sai moved to northeast China with a large number of Japanese and married a Chinese wife. In China, he was exposed to a richer and more diverse martial arts schools and skills. He began to challenge various martial arts elites, hoping to show his ambitions. Due to the special historical background at that time, many martial artists were reluctant to fight the Japanese, which led to Kenichi Sai's easy victory in many competitions. As time went on, Kenichi Sai began to doubt Chinese martial arts. He believed that Chinese Kung Fu was just a fancy move and had no real combat ability. This view changed completely after he met Wang Ziangshei. Wang Ziangshei, a martial arts master who created Yiquin, his boxing method is a culmination of Zing Yiquin and focuses on practical application. Wang Ziangshei was not only highly skilled, but also open-minded and willing to teach his martial arts to those who were truly interested in learning. When Kenichi Sai saw the competition notice published by Wang Ziangshe in the newspaper, he decided to challenge him in person. In this contest of honor and dignity, Kenichi Sai and Wang Ziangshe had a fierce duel. The result was beyond everyone's expectations. Kenichi Sai, a former leader in the Japanese martial arts world, seemed so vulnerable in front of Wang Ziangshe. No matter how he attacked or defended, he could not shake Wang Ziangshe's position. In the end, under the gaze of everyone, Kenichi Sae was defeated by Wang Ziangshe. Faced with such a result, Kenichi Sae fell into deep thinking. He began to reflect on his martial arts path and the gap between himself and Chinese martial arts. In the end, he decided to learn from Wang Ziangshe, hoping to further improve his martial arts level. Although Wang Ziangshe was a Chinese, he did not reject Kenichi Sae because of his nationality. On the contrary, he was impressed by Kenichi Sae's talent and sincerity and decided to accept him as his apprentice. Under Wang Ziyang's He's careful guidance, Kenichi Sae started from the most basic standing and gradually comprehended the essence of Chinese martial arts. As time went on, Kenichi Sae's martial arts attainments advanced by leaps and bounds. He not only learned Wang Ziyang's He's Yiquan skills, but also comprehended the philosophical thoughts and humanistic spirit behind Chinese martial arts. These experiences gave him a deeper understanding and knowledge of Chinese martial arts, and made him admire and respect Chinese martial arts more. After Japan surrendered, Kenichi Sae returned to Japan with the martial arts he learned from Wang Ziangshe. He sorted out and innovated the skills he learned, and finally formed the unique Taichi Boxing. This set of boxing caused a great sensation in the Japanese martial arts community, and Kenichi Sae was therefore hailed as the boxing saint of Japan. Looking back on Kenichi Sae's growth process, we can't help but be moved by his courage and persistence. His spirit of daring to challenge authority and pursue the truth is worthy of our learning and reference. We should also see the fact that the influence of Chinese martial arts is constantly increasing around the world. The reason why Chinese martial arts are popular and sought after around the world is not only because of the superb skills and unique charm it demonstrates, 
but also because of the profound cultural heritage and humanistic spirit it contains. These spiritual and cultural connotations make Chinese martial arts a unique cultural symbol and communication carrier, allowing people from all over the world to understand and recognize Chinese culture through the window of martial arts. We should also see the importance of cultural exchanges and cooperation. The story of Kenichi Sae is a good example. By learning Chinese martial arts, he not only improved his skills but also realized deeper philosophical thoughts and humanistic spirit. This cross-cultural exchange and cooperation not only helps to promote the development of martial arts, but also promotes mutual understanding and respect between different cultures. In today's society, with the continuous deepening of globalization, cultural exchanges and cooperation have become an important force to promote social progress and development. We should actively advocate and promote exchanges and cooperation between different cultures, so that more people can understand and recognize the unique charm and value connotation of different cultures. Only in this way can we jointly build a diverse, inclusive and harmonious world. Kenichi Sae's story also brings us profound inspiration about the spirit of martial arts. Martial arts is not only a display of skills but also a kind of spiritual inheritance and development. It emphasizes the spirit of perseverance and courage, as well as the humanistic spirit of respecting opponents and pursuing truth. These spiritual qualities are not only important for martial arts enthusiasts, but also have positive enlightenment significance for each of us. The global charm of Chinese martial arts is not only reflected in its unique skills and profound cultural heritage, but also in the humanistic spirit and social value it contains. Through the story of Kenichi Sae, we can have a deeper understanding of the charm and value connotation of Chinese martial arts and better realize the importance of cultural exchange and cooperation. Next news. Bruce Lee's martial arts reached the pinnacle? His wife revealed in her later years, there is a kind of opponent that Bruce Lee fears. The four words Chinese Kung Fu are well known both at home and abroad. But do you know? In addition to Chinese Kung Fu, Muay Thai, Taekwondo, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, etc., these are all unique interpretations of martial arts in various countries, each with its own characteristics and merits. These martial arts schools, like a colorful painting, together depict the diversity and charm of world martial arts. In the glorious history of Chinese film, Bruce Lee's name is like a shining star, illuminating the entire Kung Fu movie stage. He is not only an outstanding representative of Chinese Kung Fu, but also a pioneer in promoting Chinese Kung Fu to the world. Back then, Bruce Lee's name was a household name, and everyone knew it. Whether you are walking on the bustling streets of the city or the remote rural trails, as long as you mention Bruce Lee, almost everyone will be moved and proud of it. And every one of Bruce Lee's films is a classic. His martial arts moves are both swift and precise, full of power and elegance. His acting skills are also perfect, and every role is played vividly by him. He is not only an actor, but also a martial artist and a philosopher. His kung fu attainments are profound, whether it is boxing kung fu or weapon fighting, he is at ease, which is amazing. It is because of the legendary figure like Bruce Lee that Chinese kung fu has been able to shine on the international stage, allowing more people to understand and love this profound martial art. His influence is not limited to the film industry, but also extends to various fields such as culture and philosophy. With his efforts and talents, he led the world see the charm of Chinese kung fu and spread Chinese culture around the world. Therefore, whenever we mention Chinese Kung Fu, we always think of the name Bruce Lee. In the impression of many people, Bruce Lee's Kung Fu has reached the pinnacle. However, Bruce Lee's wife revealed in her later years, there is a kind of opponent that Bruce Lee is afraid of. What is going on? Bruce Lee, whose original name is Lee's Henfen, has a unique perseverance and determination since he was a child. At that time, although he was still young, his perseverance had already impressed many people. Speaking of Bruce Lee, we have to mention his master, Mr. Ip Man. This old man is really an amazing figure. His reputation in the martial arts world is like a mountain that people can only look up to but cannot reach. At that time, Bruce Lee heard that Mr. Ip Man was interested in finding a successor to teach him his unique skills, and he was so excited. So Bruce Lee made up his mind to become Mr. Ip Man's disciple no matter what. He began to ask around and ask for introductions. Finally, by chance, he got the favor of Mr. Ip Man. From then on, Bruce Lee followed Mr. Ip Man to learn martial arts. He studied hard every day and never slacked off. When Bruce Lee was learning martial arts, he really worked hard. He got up before dawn every morning and started a day of practice. Whether it was boxing, leg techniques or body techniques, he practiced meticulously. Sometimes he was sweating profusely during the training, 
and his clothes were soaked, but he still gritted his teeth and persisted. Senior Ip Man also valued Bruce Lee very much. He often personally guided Bruce Lee's martial arts and taught him some unique skills. Bruce Lee also cherished this opportunity very much. He listened with relish every time and learned very seriously. In this way, under the careful teaching of Senior Ip Man, Bruce Lee's martial arts became more and more advanced. He not only learned all the unique skills of his master, but also created some unique moves according to his own characteristics. These moves are both practical and powerful, allowing Bruce Lee to quickly stand out in the martial arts world. After that, Bruce Lee decided to leave his master Ip Man and started his journey alone. With this departure, Bruce Lee embarked on a life path that is amazing and full of legends. His martial arts career, like a spring breeze blowing across the earth after the establishment of the Junfin Martial Arts School, began to glow with new vitality. For Bruce Lee, this martial arts school is not just a place to teach martial arts. It is more like a stage for him, a place where he can fully display his talent and express himself freely. Whenever he stands in the center of the martial arts hall, those powerful movements and smooth and free moves always attract the amazement and applause of the crowd. The martial arts hall is also the starting point for Bruce Lee's fame. As his performance in the martial arts hall becomes more and more outstanding, more and more people begin to pay attention to him and begin to understand him. Whenever someone mentions the Junfin Martial Arts School, they will almost naturally think of the brave and fearless Bruce Lee with superb skills. His name, like the shining sword in the martial arts hall, can be recognized and remembered at a glance. However, as the old saying goes, people are afraid of fame, pigs are afraid of being fat. As Bruce Lee's reputation gradually expanded, he also began to face more and more challenges and troubles. Because of his reputation, many people are eager to compete with him and see his true strength with their own eyes. When he was studying, Bruce Lee encountered many challengers with ulterior motives. Kimura Takeyuki, this person is a well-known name in the martial arts world. When it comes to him, everyone knows that he is a martial artist with agility and superb kung fu. He has been passionate about martial arts since he was a child. Regardless of the cold and heat, he has been practicing tirelessly, determined to become a leader in the martial arts world. However, although Kimura Takashi's Kung Fu is great, he always has a knot in his heart, that is, every time he fights with Bruce Lee, he always feels that something is missing. Bruce Lee is not only agile, but also has a unique vision. He seems to be able to see through Kimura Takashi's moves and respond in advance. This makes Kimura Takashi feel very uncomfortable, and he always feels that he will never catch up with Bruce Lee. After each fight, Kimura Takashi would sit alone in the corner silently, recalling the fight just now, thinking about what went wrong. He thought, what is Bruce Lee's secret? Why can he see through his moves so accurately every time? This made him feel very uncomfortable, always thinking that one day he would be able to defeat Bruce Lee and become famous. One day, the two fought again. Kimura Takayuki was fully prepared, and he thought he must defeat Bruce Lee this time. However, reality gave him a slap in the face. In just 30 seconds, Bruce Lee knocked him to the ground and won without suspense. Kimura Takayuki lay on the ground, looking at Bruce Lee's tall figure, with mixed feelings in his heart. He originally thought that he had a chance to challenge Bruce Lee and even beat him, but the reality was so cruel. He became a stepping stone under Bruce Lee's altar and left sadly. And what about Bruce Lee? He stood there, accepting the applause and cheers of the crowd. His reputation became more prominent and he became an idol in the hearts of countless warriors. In 1964, Bruce Lee received another challenge letter. Not long after, a strong man named Chuck Nor came to the training ground. He was burly and muscular, and he was a master at first glance. Chuck now walked up to Bruce Lee and said in a provocative tone, I heard that you are very powerful. I want to compete with you. Bruce Lee did not back down. He looked at Chuck now calmly and nodded indicating that he accepted the challenge. Chuck now is a legendary existence in the hearts of local residents. His strength is almost unmatched and his position is irreplaceable. As a recognized karate champion in the United States, Chuck now's glory and strength have long been spread all over the country and won the respect of the whole country. He always believed in his own strength. He sneered at Bruce Lee's reputation and thought that it was just a myth boasted by Orientals. In that era, Orientals were often regarded as the sick man of East Asia in the Western world, and this concept was deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. Chuck now was no exception. He was full of contempt and provocation for Bruce Lee. However, Bruce Lee was not discouraged by this. Instead, he strengthened his belief and wanted to prove his worth with strength. 
The game began, and Bruce Lee and Chuck now started a fierce contest on the field. Their figures intertwined on the field, punching and kicking, and every collision made a dull sound. Bruce Lee had the upper hand on the field with his agility and superb skills. Although Chuck now was powerful, he gradually became powerless under Bruce Lee's flexible attack. After three rounds of fierce competition, Chuck now finally lost. He left the field sadly, with unwillingness and surprise written all over his face. Bruce Lee won the applause and cheers of everyone present with his outstanding performance. His reputation was further consolidated and enhanced in this contest. In the hearts of Chinese people, Bruce Lee, this name has long surpassed the identity of a simple actor or martial artist and has become a legendary existence. Whenever he is mentioned, people always think of his unrivaled martial arts skills, as if he is the peak representative of the martial arts world. His name has become the pride of Chinese martial arts, and his story has become a passionate legend in the hearts of generations. However, Bruce Lee's wife revealed an unexpected fact. She said that although Bruce Lee's martial arts are powerful, it does not mean that he has no opponents. On the contrary, he actually had many opponents that frightened him. People were very surprised after hearing this. What kind of opponents could scare this martial arts master? Bruce Lee's wife explained that these opponents were martial arts fanatics who had been sharpening their swords for decades. As the name suggests, martial arts fanatics are people who are extremely obsessed with martial arts and devote themselves to it. They seem to be deeply attracted by the charm of martial arts. No matter day or night, all they think about is how to practice skills and improve their martial arts level. For martial arts fanatics, martial arts is not only a skill, but also a belief and pursuit. They are willing to give everything for martial arts, even sacrificing their time and interests. In their eyes, only by continuous practice and improvement can they achieve the ideal state in their hearts. The spirit of martial arts fanatics is admirable. They are not afraid of hardships and difficulties, and always stick to their love and persistence for martial arts. Every move of theirs has been repeatedly scrutinized and practiced, striving to do the best. Their eyes reveal determination and persistence, as if they can penetrate all difficulties and challenges. Even Bruce Lee, a well-known martial arts master, would be moved by the story of martial arts fanatics. Bruce Lee represents the pinnacle and legend of Chinese martial arts. Every time he makes a move, every action is like a flash of lightning, fast and precise, making people dazzled. His achievements are so impressive that people can't help but give him a thumbs up. The shock and admiration are really hard to describe in words. You know, in this world, there are really only a handful of people who can reach such a high level in martial arts like him. But then again, although Bruce Lee is a legend, he is also an ordinary person after all, with flesh and blood, emotions and troubles like us. He also has weaknesses and makes mistakes, just like each of us. But there is one thing that Bruce Lee is really different from most of us. That is his obsession and love for martial arts. For him, martial arts is like his life and everything to him. He has devoted almost all his time and energy to the study and research of martial arts, and his heart can hardly accommodate anything else except martial arts. This kind of focus and determination on martial arts makes his willpower and character appear extremely strong, and people can't help but be impressed by it. This is also the reason why Bruce Lee's Kung Fu can reach the pinnacle. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 